Joining me now is Peter Valruva, president of Volvo Trucks North America. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Ken. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell us more about the Volvo EV truck fleet and the company's efforts towards sustainability when it comes to transportation. Yeah, thank you, Ken. Uh, very great day. We're Indeed, as you said, we are handing over the first out of five electric trucks, uh, VNR Electrics, to, uh, to Manhattan Beer. Uh, and that, uh, that means that we're executing uh, on our sustainability strategy. We, with Volvo Trucks, we believe strongly uh, that, uh, that tackling the climate change uh, uh, will be done by, by switch, switching to, uh, to electric, uh, electric vehicle and zero tailpipe emission uh, products like the one behind us uh, here. Our target is to go to 35% uh, of electric vehicles in 2030. And we're doing that then now by starting right now with uh, the VNR Electric, which is good for uh, local and regional uh, distribution uh, pickup uh, here in, in urban, urban uh, situations like in New York City. So why does trucking electrification matter so much to the average consumer? Well, it matters for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, like all forms of transport, uh, trucks also uh, create emissions and we want to reduce the emissions. So that, that, that is one. The second thing is that uh, electric trucks uh, contribute to clean air, which is in you know, urban areas like here in New York, very important. And thirdly, uh, there is an enormous noise reduction. So you mm -hmm. have much less noise on the street and you can use your trucks much more. So it's, it's a, an immediate improvement of the quality of life, but also an improvement and helps us to, to battle climate change. So what challenges do you see in rolling out EV Volvo trucks to the rest of the country? There are a couple of elements that are important uh, in, 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 in rolling out uh, this in California, in New York State, but in the rest of the country as well. So first of all, we need help from federal and state uh, agencies with incentive programs. We need to get this going uh, as the, the, the costs are, are, are slightly elevated over traditional trucks. So we need incentive programs in order to get going. We need infrastructure and investments in charging infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, in order to get that going. Uh, and, then, and, 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 and then the good thing is that we have a lot of our customers that have a sustainability agenda and a sustainability strategy. They want to go. Everybody finds this important. So there's a big pool from our customers. We need charging and we need uh, incentives in order to get going, build volume, and then ultimately also see costs go down when battery technology develops. So let me ask you, because when I think EV, I think chips. So how has the global chip shortage affected the company at all? The, the, to the total automotive industry is being affected by the, uh, by the global chip shortage. There is not a very big difference between the electric uh, vehicles or diesel or C clean diesel or CNG uh, vehicles. Uh, we have been infected like everybody else. We're working very, very closely together with our suppliers and in the entire company to minimize the effect on our, on our customers. Uh, sometimes we have to uh, adjust uh, a little bit in the production scheduling, but we're working very hard to, uh, to, uh, to, to minimize the impact. The chip shortage has, did not have a direct impact on the rollout of the, of the electric vehicle range that we have. We, we, met, we met our deadlines. We actually went live. Uh, uh, with our electric truck last year, December. So, and that's also important to mention, this is not a pilot or a tryout. This mm -hmm. is a part of our normal standard offering. And we launched that last year, December. Wow, well, that's good news. So aside from the capacity of the fleet, what do you anticipate will be the main differentiator for commercial electric vehicles in the next 20 years? The, 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 the differentiator for commercial uh, in the next coming 20 years is that the, everybody wants to drive their, if I understand your question correctly, everybody wants to work on a sustainability agenda. Mm -hmm. So what we, need, what we need now is that we need to build up volume that will have a positive impact on battery technology that will drive the cost down. We will come to a situation where the total cost of ownership of an electric truck and a diesel truck will be competitive and then it will go. So I have to ask, you know, with those regular trucks, the gas, the gas working trucks, they get about five to six miles per gallon, 120 gallons in the tank. With diesel trucks, you might get a little more, eight to 10 miles per gallon. How much mileage can one of these trucks get? The electric trucks for the moment, the one that you see behind us go up to 150 miles. Mm -hmm. um, and, that's, and that's enough for, for, for instance, like the application that Manhattan Beer has. They deliver beer in all the five boroughs. They can work with one charge. Uh, do their work, come back into the depot, and then get charged. 
what we will see later on is that this range will increase. If battery technology develops, mm -hmm. the battery intensity will increase, the range will increase. And later on in the decade, we will come with fuel cell uh, electric trucks. And then you can go to the, to the, to the longer haul applications. Now, I want to think about the person who's behind the wheel. Will CDL truck drivers, those who truck, who, those who drive those big semi-trucks, will they have to have like any new training or are these trucks the same as the other ones? You just sit in the driver's seat and it just comes naturally. It's, it's pretty much the same. I mean, I've been driving the truck myself. The VNR electric is a truck that we have had already for a long time. Uh, I think the biggest difference is that you don't have a tachometer anymore. You have a power indicator that shows you what is happening with the, uh, with the, with the battery charging. But for the rest, our VNR electric has the exact same excellent, if I may say like that, driver environment. It has excellent visibility. Uh, you don't need uh, a lot of extra training or a different uh, driver's license to drive an electric truck. It's, it's a seamless. I would, for me at least, it was a seamless change. And it's actually a better change because the noise levels Mm -hmm. on the outside of the truck are lower, but the noise levels on the inside of the truck are also lower. And that helps uh, with, uh, with uh, so you will have less fatigue of the driver. I think it's, it's, it's actually better for the driver to drive an electric truck. Yeah, a lot less humming on the highway. So Peter Varuva, president of Volvo Trucks North America, I appreciate you spending the time with us and the truck looks great. Thank you so much.